All right, YouTube, Twitch, what's good? Ian is back. He's dropped a single, End Up Gone. Um, he's dropping snippet to this. He's kind of started to roll out another tape that he said is done, so I'd be very intrigued as a big fan of Valdictorian. Hate Me is one of the best songs this year with Yachty. I hope we get another crazy performance. Um, and just, yeah, I'm hoping we just get another Ian Banger, man. Let's just keep it rolling, baby. <laughs> Little soprano beat then. He's already going in that like Chief Keef direction, I feel like, or something, you know? I'll be dead before I pass the shit. I ain't never ever getting past this bitch. She don't even know this may you say so. She don't even know how to ask for shit. Oh, God forbid this shit get hot. Here go past the new. Oh, oh, try to scare on my plot. She get past the dude. Oh, I used to miss you getting that guap. But I get dropped the mix. Way, way too much when the ship up top. Feel like I got the mix. Do make my facial features hot. Feel like I popped the pill. Oh, <laughs> Look at my facial features. I love that little, what is going on in the background of that beat, bro? I like the build up to it. Soprano cooks, man. I think Ian, I like the production he's been on. Oh, 100%, 100% Ryan, that would be there. And then, but what's like, what is Ian doing wrong? I don't really see what Ian's doing wrong. I think his music is his. Like, I don't think his lyrics are corny. Like, he can legitimately rap. We were just talking about fucking Netspin, Laser, Osama. Dude, those motherfuckers cannot rap. Ian is like way better than <laughs> Ian is way better than all those guys, bro. Ian is like so far. There's a reason why he's blown up. Everyone wants to talk about Tyler the Creator roasting him, and you know he's an industry plant, bro. It he's here because he's he's actually good and he's listenable, bro. Let him cook. I love this beat. That too, Van. Yeah, this beat is like, yeah, early 2010s, 100%. I almost feel like Wayne could even hop on this beat, you know, back in the day. But yeah, early Chief Keef or just... Any early trap music type thing, anything from that era, fire. It, it would relate to that. Yeah, Eric DOA tonight. It's like a throwback jam for me. I don't see like what is Tyler the Crater yapping about maybe at first like I get a few songs being carbon copies of a few other older rappers old Gucci Mane or whatever like what is he doing wrong in this song don't take a picture with me I'm too fried right now just trying to make my mama proud he talks about getting to that paper getting that money all the time Sure, he doesn't come from the struggle. He don't come from whatever, but he's not rap capping. I don't think he's, he's not doing anything wrong, bro. He's just fire. I think this single sounds just like it's kind of a different mode and just even this beat is just kind of a little something different from him that I like. This wouldn't sound, this would be one of the better songs off Valedictorian. I don't think it fully, you know, relates to that album that much, but I like the direction that he's going, bro. That tape's going to be fire. He just hypes me up, bro. I like that. Dude, this is a fire. This is a little calm, little banger. I like the I like the swagger and tone in his voice a lot of time. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are like, 
he, he's white, but he doesn't really act like it. You wouldn't really know that in his music. Like, the way he's kind of auto-tuned and the tone is rap. Like, I think he can actually rap, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's actually on beat and shit. Like, the bar is so low in the underground. I think Yeet, Yeet is, like, not Yeet, sorry. Uh, Ian has, like, fully, like, made it out. Actually, when it comes to the Yeet comparisons, I've never seen that. I don't know if it's just their appearance. That's what people are trying to compare, but... I've literally never seen that. I've never seen Ian sound like Cardi either. I think those are old head takes. Um, but I, I just tweeted out, Ian is, is lightheads, lightheads a year. So far away, the separation is crazy. To the moon and back a million times. He's so far ahead of the underground. Laser Dim, Shay, Netspin, Osama. Like, there's a reason why he's popular, bro. He might. It could be because he's white. I think that's definitely part of it. No question. But he's doing the right thing. His marketing's always been really good. He works hard. He drops consistently. He gets in the studio with big rappers who obviously make him better. <clears throat> Lil Yachty. He's going to continue to go places. Uh, we don't need to check no it's not that complicated. Who cares if he's an industry player? Like Soprano too, bro. Keep going. Fire. Fire. Would it be the swag era type music? That was, is that what it's called? Is that what it's called? Either way, I like kind of the nostalgic feeling that song gave me, but Ian's twist on it. This is a solid single here. I will be bumping this. Again, I, I think Ian's fire. I think he is where he is because, again, he can actually rap. He's made great songs, hit songs. I don't know about, like, hit, but, like, songs that have made him get out of the underground at least. Just keep going, bro. Soprano, keep going. I love this fire duo as well. So Ian's coming up with him, with his crew. And they're just making all the right moves, bro. And that that's just that's what I want to see. I'm I become more and more of a fan of Ian by the day. I really do. This is this is good. His uh he's having a great year. He really he really is. That tape's done, we need that. I don't know when that's dropping, but I'm there. I'm there. That that might be fire. That might that might be fire. 